In 1981, a group of friends were having the best time of their lives, a time they thought would never end. And then one day, their lives changed forever. Have you seen the paper? No, I was just sitting down. Have you got it? Rare cancer seen in 41 homosexuals. The cause of the outbreak is unknown, and there is yet no evidence of contagion. It's the greatest challenge they've ever had to face. You've been given your name as a contact for John Deacon. Your friend has pneumonia. He has a high fever. How high? 105. Then they don't even tell him what they've told me and David. I'm so sorry. It's just not fair. It's not fair. And they're facing it the only way they know how, with laughter. You look at yourself in the mirror and you say, I love my ears, I love my nose, I love myself. Well, I love my toes. <laughs> and I love my nose. Right. With courage. I'm an actor, and I have AIDS. They've changed their mind about the part for some reason. They're gonna use somebody else. I'm sorry. But most of all, with each other. Uh, the most remarkable thing I ever saw anybody do was the way he took care of Sean, which wasn't easy for David. David taught me that Life is only what you put into it. Never again would their lives be so simple. Never before had their friendships mattered so much. Winner of the Audience Award for Outstanding Motion Picture at the 1990 United States Film Festival. Longtime Companion. A film about our times, for our times.